And congratulations, because we've been playing the brand new single now for a couple of weeks, and we've been getting so many people contacting us and saying that they love it. So congratulations. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I guess that's a great place to start. Tell us a little bit about The Bearer of Bad News. What what sparked that track for you to write? Well, um, I think the way that I've been framing it is, like, in terms of, like, being the lyric writer and the vocal, like from a vocal perspective, I guess you could say, um, I treated the bearer of bad news as one of my last um, sort of tirades of um, of writing not from my own perspective, if that makes sense. So, yeah. a lot of our, our um, earlier work, um, we've been writing. Like, I've been writing sort of from a um, basically just telling a story that doesn't necessarily have much to do with me, but it's something that I find interesting and something that I find really powerful. Um, it just isn't like necessarily what you find in a lot of other heavy music and music in general that is coming from a personal place. Um, the song explores um, themes of power and like the the pursuit of power and how dangerous it can be. I suppose you could say in that sense it has a bit of a pol- political inclination. Definitely not as much as that, like not as political as our previous single, Mr. Magic, but um, it still is that it, it's driven by um, real events. It's just not... Um, honed in on a personal perspective however newer music i have intentionally gone down that route so um yeah i've sort of been learning how to look introspectively and it's been really interesting but in terms of bearer um yeah very mysterious very dark um and um yeah just something kind of huge that goes kind of above my head really (laughs) yeah do you find it easier to write from your own personal personal perspective or do you find it easier to write like you have with this track almost from another perspective that's a really good question i actually find it easier to write from someone else's perspective yeah um i i think like storytelling is something that i'm very thankful comes quite naturally to me i mean i'm also an english major at university so um like telling stories and writing essays and all those fun things like that are um outside of my own like personal view i it just sort of yeah that's a little bit easier but i'm intentionally challenging myself to do what um i'm so familiar with listening to like part of the reason that i love um being in the part of the music industry um in general, sorry, um, is because of how vulnerable people can be. Um, and I think I wanted to, I think it was due time for me to start tapping into that because I have a lot to say. I just need to find it. Um, and I have done so on, um, what is like on our 2022 releases and, um, yes, it was challenging. Um, I have a lot of respect for the artists that I look up to that speak from, their own mind like it's like second nature like it's so natural to me it took a little bit of work but i think we got there yeah definitely and the other question that people are asking at the moment is is this track part of something bigger can we expect like a an ep or an album coming from from you all very very soon Yes, um, we're, we're currently in the studio, like right now actually, um, recording our next EP. Um, and yeah, that's, that one will be coming out in 2022 and we're really excited to share it with you all. Awesome. That was actually my next question. Was it difficult to get into the studio and record over the last couple of years? Because I know so many bands down here in Melbourne have had um, times just cancelled time and time again when they've been trying to get into the studio because the studio has been closed because of lockdowns is that something that you're faced as well yes absolutely um we like everyone else have had um a pretty difficult time getting into the studio um we haven't actually practiced together in a couple months um and we we really really need to uh, because we've got some really awesome shows coming up but um yeah it's been i think that was one of the hardest things um, and probably one of the most stressful things um for us as not only a band but a business as well like um the way that you treat music is like music is your commodity and if we can't get our music out there then we don't know how to continue like we're not con- like of, of course we would get there eventually but 
it's it gets really stressful. You don't know how you're going to be able to progress and um, keep growing if you're not able to deliver music pretty soon. But um, thankfully, we uh, picked the perfect window, I guess, to finally get in. Um, and we've been working with Chris Blancato. He's been fantastic. Um, and now it's just a matter of getting into a studio all together and just having a big, long practice session. A couple, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to need to do a couple. Um but we're getting there. We're definitely seeing each other a lot more um, frequently, especially working in the studio and feeling a little bit more um, in practice and back in touch with what we um, what we do so well together. So I think things are looking up. Definitely. I guess, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> and how have you all spent the last couple of years when you haven't been able to do shows? Have you just been writing a lot of music and kind of letting things out that way? Well, I think that everyone has taken it a little bit differently, um, in our, even within our band. Um, yeah, like, for example, Brandon, our guitarist, he just pumps tunes out like there's no tomorrow. Like, he um, he has put out some of the some of his best work during 2020 um, and put it forward to us on, like as um, for the rest of the band to look over and, like, see what we can do with it. So that's been fantastic. If I'm talking myself... Um, like 2020 peak COVID type thing, I lost a lot of motivation. Um, and I think that I share my experience with a fair few artists. Um, it wasn't just a matter, like a lot of, what a lot of people were saying was like, um, if, I mean, oh, you've got so much free time now, just write music, just write it all. Just like, um, turn out the, like turn the creative brain on and just turn it out sort of thing. Um, but I think that the stress and the anxiety and um, the uncertainty around the last year or two has been really detrimental for a lot of people's creative side. Um, yeah. And uh, thankfully, we're on, on our way out of that now, which means that uh, it's definitely been coming back. And I will say that 2021 was way better. Um, I find I work really well when I have like a deadline sort yep. of thing. When I know when I know what's coming, I'm like, okay, yeah, let's do this, let's do that. But um, when everything seemed so up in the air, I I struggled a lot. So yep. yeah, thankfully we're not there anymore. And um, I've written like we've written a couple of songs that um, are now being produced, which is awesome. So um, hopefully. That was a one-off um, problem, and we won't have to deal with that again. No, we exactly. will, but we probably will at some point, but you know. <laughs> uh, I know exactly how you feel, because I'm a television and film screenwriter outside of radio, and everyone oh, wow. was saying to me, oh, wow, you've got all this time at home now, you'll be able to churn out so many scripts, but I just couldn't get motivated. I kept on thinking, well, what's the point of writing at the moment? We're not going to be able to film it for years, we're not going to be able to yeah. get together and have workshops and go through the script. So, yeah, and because I, I felt trapped at home um, as well, like because I was working from home and we could only go 5Ks from home and so there was no motivation there at all. Yeah, everything that you're saying is completely resonating with me. Like um, just not knowing what the future holds and feeling really trapped and um, and, and you, you're not getting that... Um, that external source of inspiration from seeing, you know, your loved ones, seeing yep. your friends and feeling that sense of happiness that really drives you. Um, so yeah, I completely, completely resonate. But you have exciting times ahead now. Like you said before, you've got some amazing shows coming up. Tell us a little bit about how you feel with these amazing festivals and shows coming up that you're going to be part of. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm really, really excited. Um, the way that I've sort of been framing it in my head is that, um, and also the band fully agree, we've sort of discussed it a little bit, um, is that when we've received these these show offers and we're, like, you know, we're accepting and we're in the process of, like, waiting to announce it and things like that, all of these, um, they, they don't feel real. Um, it doesn't feel like a tangible, touchable, real-life thing. Because with the year that's been, it's kind of a, along the lines of, um, oh, well, it's just going to be postponed. Like, I can't imagine even playing shows, let alone going to shows. Um, but I think now it's like, I, I, I think what I'm most excited for is to actually just get on stage. I'll, like, kiss the ground, honestly, because um, 
then it's it's only then and when I see the people out there and when I um, get to interact with a bunch of the artists that we're playing with, which I'm so excited to play with, um, uh, it's only then that I think it's going to feel real and it's really going to pay off. Um, but for now, it just remains this awesome, crazy fever dream, I guess. <laughs> Definitely. And because the last couple of years have been so tough, how can our listeners help you guys out at the moment? Like, is there merch and stuff that people can jump online and, and purchase to help you out? Oh, that is so lovely for you to say. Um, well, yeah, like we actually just um, released a new line of merch for pre-orders. They're actually going to be shipping really soon too. So um, if you jump on our um, merch fan site, uh, I mean, you can just check out our socials. There'll be links for everything in our link tree, for example. Um but if you jump on the merch, like you should be getting it shipped out really soon. So, um, yeah, uh, really happy with that. It's like a summer range. Um, and then pretty much just keep, um, keep spinning on Spotify. And, um, like we're really, really, really happy with, um, all the feedback that we've received so far. So just drop us a message if you enjoy it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's all of that kind of, happy gooey loviness that is keeping us going at the moment so um yeah really appreciate um any kind of support at this stage awesome well we hope a lot of our listeners do jump on and buy some stuff and also we are going to play the bearer of bad news on our show again right now so what would you like to say to everybody out there before they take another listen to this amazing track I guess I just want to say thank you for everyone who has listened so far. Thank you for anyone who is listening now. Um, And there is more where that came from. 